Welcome to Biology My Passion. I am Soumya Harikrishna. We have been dealing with the chapter Acid, Bases and Salts. Today we will move on to the characteristics and properties of bases. If you have learned acids very well, physical properties, chemical properties and other characteristics that we have discussed, then bases will be easy for you. When we come to physical properties of acids, they are bitter in taste. Acids were sour in taste, right? So here it is bitter in taste and it is soapy to touch. And what about the color change? Here the color of red litmus turns to blue, whereas acids turn blue litmus to red. Conducts electricity in solution electrolyte. So we can see the first three characteristics are different from those of acids, whereas the last one conducts electricity in solution is similar to those of acids. Now common examples of bases are caustic soda, lime, washing soda, etc. Which are the common bases that we see around? Normally, metal oxides are basic in nature that we already discussed while we were discussing the chemical properties of acids. We learned acids react with the metal oxides to form salt and water which is neutralization reaction. That means metal oxides are basic in nature. So here we can see sodium oxide. Sodium is a metal oxide of metal is that is metal oxide is basic. The same way calcium oxide. Calcium is a metal so its oxide is also basic in nature. The same way metal hydroxide also behave as bases. Sodium hydroxide. Hydroxide means what? OH group. Sodium hydroxide NaOH. Calcium hydroxide CaOH twice. And ammonium hydroxide all are examples of metal hydroxides which are bases. Now metal carbonates and metal bicarbonates are also behaving as bases. For example, Na2CO3, calcium carbonate, sodium carbonate, calcium carbonate are metal carbonates whereas sodium hydrogen carbonate are metal bicarbonates. Coming to alkalis, water soluble bases are called a alkali. So all bases need not dissolve in water. If a base dissolves in water then we call it as alkali. So we can say that all alkalis are bases but all bases are not alkalis. So water soluble bases are uh, uh, mainly sodium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide MgOH twice, calcium hydroxide CaOH twice, ammonium hydroxide NH4OH and potassium hydroxide KOH. Now move on to chemical properties. So we will compare with the uh, acid and we learn. When we learned about acid, the first reaction was acids react with the metals to form salt and a hydrogen gas. Here also bases react with metal to form salt and hydrogen. So similar reaction. So base we are taking sodium hydroxide and we are adding some zinc to it. What do we get? Sodium zincate. Sodium zincate is Na2ZN. O2. Sodium zincate is the salt formed here and what is the gas evolved? Hydrogen gas and we already learned how to test for the presence of hydrogen. Bring a matchstick near it so if it burns with a pop sound it will it is hydrogen. Now all metals cannot react with the bases to form salt and hydrogen so this reaction does not happen with the all metals. Now next reaction we learned about acids was uh, acids react with the metal carbonates or metal hydrogen carbonates to form salt carbon dioxide and water but here base plus metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate we don't find any reaction do you know why because just now we saw that metal carbonates and metal car bicarbonates are bases so how can a base react with another base that's why there is no reaction okay moving on to the next reaction base reacts with acid to form salt and water what do you call this reaction neutralization reaction because Acids have H plus ions in them, whereas bases have OH minus ions. So this H plus ions from the acids react with the OH minus ions from the bases to form water. The next is metal oxide and acid. Metal oxides are basic in nature, we say. So bases again reacts with acid to form salt and water. Here example, copper oxide is a metal oxide which reacts with a hydrochloric acid to form copper chloride and water. The same way, magnesium oxide, another metal oxide, reacts with another acid, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, to form a salt, magnesium sulfate, MgSO4, plus H2, water, salt and water. So these are neutralization reactions. So we can say metal oxides are basic in nature. Now, what about non-metal oxides? Non-metal oxides are acidic in nature. So naturally they react with base to form salt and water again. 
calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide what do we get calcium carbonate is a salt and a water so non metal oxides are acidic in nature base dissolved in water produces hydroxide ion so naoh if it, it is a base if it is dissociating in water what do we get na plus and a oh minus so oh minus forms in the water that is aqueous we write so oh minus aqueous is giving the properties of bases to that particular compound the same way we learn h plus aqueous or hydronium ions are giving characteristic properties of acids so acids have h plus aqueous whereas bases have OH minus aqueous to give them their characteristic features. Potassium hydroxide if dissociates what do we get? Potassium cations under OH minus aqueous. The same way magnesium hydroxide Mg2 plus aqueous under OH minus aqueous. We learned about strong and weak acids the same way strong and weak bases are also there. A base which completely ionizes in water and thus produces a large amount of hydroxide ions we call it a strong base for example sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide whereas a weak base partially ionizes in water and produce only small amount of hydroxide ions a weak base partially ionizes in water and produces only small amount of hydroxide ions for example ammonium hydroxide calcium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide etc finally coming to the uses of bases and uh, hope you know what is concentrated and dilute also when water concentration increases that is a dilute form that is con concentration of OH minus per volume decreases on dilution so in uses if we talk about sodium hydroxide is used in the manufacture of soap paper and rayon that's why soapy to touch right then calcium hydroxide is used in the manufacture of bleaching powder magnesium hydroxide is used as an antacid to cure acidity sodium carbonate is used as washing soda and sodium hydrogen carbonate is used as baking soda.